Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I posted that Microsoft could block upgrades to Windows 11 24H2 if Start All Back, which as many of you may well know is a third-party UI customization app, is installed. And that's because Microsoft seems to be clamping down further now in the Insider program and had started blocking the app and preventing users from upgrading to new Windows 11 builds with Start All Back installed. And I did provide and showed you a workaround in that video, which will be in the end screen if you are affected. Now, the next UI customization app, which was expected um, to be blocked now, in the latest um, Canary Dev Channel build 26100, which I posted on last week, is Explorer Patcher, which is also a third-party UI customization app, which helps you change the taskbar, as an example, to look more like Windows 10 and bring back all the Windows 10 kind of the look and feel to Windows 11, as you may well know. And um, if we just have a look at this image provided by NeoWin here, we can see that Windows 11 version 24H2, which Microsoft is working on in the Insider program, is also marking Explorer Patcher now as uh, incompatible. And here we can see it provides this message, this app can't run because it causes security or performance issues on Windows and so on. So it's very similar to the message we saw uh, in last week's video with Start All Back being blocked and preventing you from upgrading to a newer Windows 11 preview build in the Insider program. Now, if you are affected and for whatever reason you want to run Explorer Patcher, which I personally don't recommend running third-party UI customization apps, um, but nonetheless, if you are wanting to run um, Explorer Patcher, as an example, the same workaround applies that I spoke about last week with Start All Back. So basically what you do is the workaround involves renaming Explorer Patcher's um, executable to something else other than Explorer Patcher. And then if you want to upgrade to a newer build, you um, obviously delete the app, uh, you update your system, and then you launch uh, you launch Explorer Apache using the renamed executable, and that should then bypass all the blocks that Microsoft has put in place. And as mentioned, this is on build 26100, which is the latest Canary and Dev Channel build. And at this stage, um, the reason Microsoft could be blocking these UI customization apps like Start All Back and Explorer Apache in this early preview build of Windows 11 24H2 is because uh, those builds are relatively unstable and um, it could be causing these third-party UI customization apps could just be causing too many problems. So the negatives are outweighing the positives in that early preview build. So at this stage, um, it seems that Microsoft is clamping down to block these third-party UI customization apps in Windows 11 24H2. But at this stage, it only seems to be in the inside a program there's no problems as far as i'm aware of in the stable version so this might just be something that they're doing in the inside a program and it um, all these blocks may be lifted when it gets to stable but at this stage though it does seem that microsoft is intent and is clamping down on these ui customization apps that um, they are uh, preventing you from upgrading and obviously using the app I'm um, currently in Bolt 26100 and if any more news becomes available, obviously I'll keep you guys posted because although I don't recommend using any third-party UI customization apps in Windows, um, I know a lot of you and some of you um, are affected, so I just wanted to put it out there in case you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.